Are you looking for the real Atmos experience which makes the helicopter fly above you and not just around you? So if you are looking to upgrade your experience, you're probably asking yourself, what should you go for? An upfiring speaker or a ceiling speaker? Let's break it down and you'll come to a better conclusion after watching this video. So let's discuss ceiling speakers first. Now, the ceiling speakers need proper wiring and installation. They are meant to be placed above you, wherever your listening position is, and it directs the sound with pinpoint accuracy. A lot of ceiling speakers have directional tweeters as well. So you can aim the tweeters exactly at your listening position so that you get the best experience possible since tweeters are highly directional. Now, the benefit of ceiling speakers is that they're discrete, they're paintable, and these speakers deliver what Atmos is exactly designed for. So when a plane flies over your head, you'll actually feel that. Upfiring speakers, on the other hand, sit on your existing system. They basically have a speaker which is aimed at your ceiling so that the sound is reflected off your ceiling and then comes to your ears. Now, this is a clever trick using reflections and sound, but will it work in your case? Now, the conditions for this need to be ideal. Your ceiling needs to be extremely smooth and of reflective materials. If you have uneven surfaces on your ceiling or you have absorbent materials used on your ceiling or even a fan for that matter, then Atmos experience will be diminished even more so. The height of your ceiling also plays a crucial role. The height of your ceiling has to be between 8 to 12 feet. If it's less than 8 feet, it won't work. If it's more than 12 feet, it won't work. If you want more information on this, I've done a video, you can watch that. Next, let's talk about sound quality and immersion, which is delivered via a ceiling speaker versus an upfiring speaker. Now, in this case, ceiling speakers, they win hands down. There is absolutely no competition whatsoever. They are precise, they are immersive, and they deliver what they say Atmos is going to deliver. The sound comes from exactly where it's supposed to come. There is no illusion whatsoever. Upfiring, on the other hand, it is a hit or a miss. It really depends on the conditions, as I mentioned earlier. And even if the conditions are perfect, you get the illusion. The sound stage isn't that good. The precision is not really there. And the immersion is definitely reduced. You will get a sensation of it, but that's about it. If you want the complete immersion, then go for in-ceiling speakers, definitely. There's no doubt about that. Now let's talk about installation, cost, and aesthetics. Installation in case of in-ceiling speakers, that's definitely going to cost you. You will have to wire it up. You will have to do civil work over there and install the speakers. So yes, it's going to cost you and it's probably going to be a little cumbersome. Upfiring, on the other hand, it's just plug and play. It sits on top of your existing surrounds or your fronts, depending on where you put them, and they just plug and play. So if you're a renter, upfiring speakers might be perfect for you. Aesthetics. Now, in case of aesthetics, obviously in ceiling speakers win because they are almost invisible to the naked eye, unless and until someone looks up at your ceiling, which is honestly quite rare, and they notice that there are grills around it. Only then would they notice. Otherwise, they are generally invisible. A firing speaker, on the other hand, obviously someone is going to notice that there is a second set of speakers on top of your existing speakers. Costings, upfiring speakers are generally a little more expensive than their ceiling counterparts because they don't have a cabinet. But when you take into account the installation, the wiring, then yes, in-ceiling speakers do cost you more than an upfiring speaker. So, which one should you go for? If you have your own house or if your ceilings are uneven or if your ceilings are too short or maybe too high, then you should go for in-ceiling speakers. Upfiring speaker, on the other hand, you should only go for if you are probably moving houses, you can't put any permanent fixtures on your ceiling or you have the ideal height that is 8 to 12 feet off your ceiling, then in that case, they will work as much as they can. Or if you just want to try Dolby Atmos in a very budget-friendly way, I would say this is the cheapest option out there. So if you're an enthusiast and you want the best possible experience, then only go for in-ceiling speakers. You will definitely not enjoy the up-firing speakers. If you want to maintain your budget or you just want to try Dolby Atmos casually on your system, you're not really an enthusiast, then give up firing speakers a try. They might be worth if you have the right room for it. So, ceiling speakers or up firing speakers, 
let me know in the comment section below. In my case, I'm using in-ceiling speakers, the Polk Audio RC-ATI.